Thanks to a little guard known as Vegas, Oklahoma rolled in its first round tournament game against Michigan on Sunday. The Sooners took care of the ball, got lost in the game, and enjoyed an enthusiastic crowd while coming up aces in a 21 point win. Next up, however, a more difficult task the athletic number three seed, St. John's, on Tuesday night. Obviously, we have goals and we want to win, and that, those are our goals. And, and, but, you know, our, our team is so much more about that. You know, it's so much more than just you know, the victories. And I think last night, really letting go and playing loosely and joyfully and really and just enjoying the game, you know, has been our goal all year. And I felt like that was the most immersed we've been as a team thus far. Um, so if we can continue that, I'll be happy, you know, regardless of the score. And I think that every single person in this room will say the same. You know, it's, it's not fun unless you're playing like that. It's not worth it unless you are at your potential. And um, when we're playing like that, regardless of shots are going in or not, you know, that's, that's when we're most excited and when we're really proud of our team. I thought they were fantastic. And I thought uh, Whitney Hand's leadership again was just extraordinary and then uh, again as we spoke last night just the immersion of everybody in the game we got lost in the moment and I think a big part of that um, uh, the responsibility for that can reside with the 6,000 people that were here in the arena they, they made it really easy to get lost in the joy of playing ball. Big expectations are a given at Oklahoma the Sooners after all are trying to advance to the Sweet 16 for the fourth straight season. But what about presidential expectations? Barack Obama filled out a women's bracket, and he picked St. John's to advance all the way to the final four. Yeah, just like going out there. and I think tomorrow, us playing like Oklahoma and just having fun out there and just doing what we do will be great for us. And I think we'll shock a lot of people, even the most powerful men <laughs> in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be really careful and stay out of the politics of this right here. Um, you know, yeah, I would like to on this one occasion and perhaps on some others prove our president wrong. Okay, no more questions. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> number six seed Oklahoma meets number three seed St. John's for the very first time around 845 on Tuesday night. Reporting from Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports. <laughs>